Good morning. Our gathering song is number 625, Open Wide the Doors to Christ, number 625. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great listened in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of Saint Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who loves and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and uh, ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that, as you received from us, how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God not to take advantage of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter, for the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this 
disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord, you just. just. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice, rejoice in, the Lord, in the Lord, you just. just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice, rejoice in, the in the Lord, Lord you just. just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice, Rejoice in the, the Lord, Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice, Rejoice in the, in the Lord, Lord, you just. just. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish one, when taking their lambs, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with their lambs. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry. Behold, the bridegroom come out to meet him then all those virgins got up and brimmed their lambs the foolish one said to the wise give us some of your oil for our lambs are going out but the wise ones replied no for there may not be enough for us and you go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves while they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake. For you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ.
through the gospel passage of today Jesus gives yet another parable in order to explain the meaning of the kingdom of heaven he gives the parable of the ten virgins the scripture says five were wise and five were foolish you know when we read the old testament foolishness means it is not lack of intelligence you know the gospel speaks about you know the rich fool the fool who built his house on the sand so here these five foolish virgins would mean so they looked after themselves not looked at what he called what is outside of them that's why they did take the lamb they went to meet the bridegroom but they missed the most important thing to welcoming the bridegroom they were busy with themselves and today we come a morale a great saint saint monica mother of saint augustine who prayed continuously for 18 years for the conversion of her son now totally that he was converted he became later a bishop and one of the best theologians the church ever produced you know when she went to saint ambrose requesting his praise for her son saint ambrose said a woman with this tears god can never ever forsake her prayers that came true she placed her trust and confidence in the bridegroom and at the end she was rewarded by god bring about that great conversion to her son send a cast just like the wise virgins so they their focus was on receiving the bridegroom and being with the bridegroom the liturgy of today invites you and me as christians our focus is on the lord why we live our daily busy life let's ask the grace from the lord that we may not lose sight of the focus that is placing our trust and confidence in the lord our lord alone please rise let's place our prayers and petitions before the lord asking his blessings for francis our pope william our bishop and all the leaders of the church we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer christians all over the world may come to a true conversion and strive to live out the values of the gospel we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for an increase of vocation to priesthood and consecrated life we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer people all over the world suffering due to various reasons pandemic or violence or natural calamities that they may all find comfort and consolation 
in the love of the one true God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For thanksgiving, for the abundance of rain that we are receiving these days, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Barbara Pintock, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. Today, as we commemorate the great saint, Saint Monica, who prayed ceaselessly for the conversion of her son, St. Augustine. Grant us the grace in our lives too that we may always place our trust and confidence in you and you alone. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice set of hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let's give Lord. thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you so love the world, that in your mercy, you send us to Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning, 
we had lost in disobedience and so Lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim indeed holy O Lord the fond of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and invented willingly into his passion he took bread and giving things broke it gave it to his disciples say take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we hear this prayer, bring this hope, we proclaim right now, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy and us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the service command and formed by divine teaching we did. 
dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you, amen. Thank you. 
complete within us, O Lord, we pray. The healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our sending hymn is number 768, From All That Dwell Below the Skies, number 768.